if you want to know what exactly uh, what are the important points or important key takeaways that I got uh, from this compilation of the results, uh, continue to watch. Today's fifth fact, and I have compiled the financial to financial year 2022 results for all my reads, and as you can see, the thumbnails. Uh, for this particular video, it really showed my expression for Sun Tang, Capital DC, and CICT. I don't really know what to say, but I also uh, was expecting uh, these results. Um, definitely, when I look at uh, Sun Tang, right, uh, there was a huge rebound, right, uh, and I from three hundred sixty six million to four hundred twenty seven million. Uh, for the top line which is the revenue so uh, identified that it is actually the rebound was due to the increase in the retail and the convention so this really uh, allowed me to understand Suntech even a little bit better that for this Suntech uh, yes predominantly it's uh, it's a location is what I would say that the Singapore Assets is contributing a lot. Whereas if you look at the assets of uh, Australia and UK, uh, it didn't. There wasn't much, or there isn't a significant increment. So, uh, the I recall the initial reasons of buying Suntech was really uh, due to Singapore assets. But if based on that, looking at the price of one point three eight, right? Because I did my own uh, calculations, that is a yield of. Uh, 6.6% so that was like one thing I was thinking eh, is it undervalued uh, why would I think it's undervalued is because I, subsequently I went to look at uh, Capital DC and CICT so uh, this was the first uh, lesson after compiling uh, Suntech and another thing I want to uh, take note is the return on borrowing if you have watched the other video uh, for that I talk about the return on borrowing for Suntech, Capital DC, and CICT, right? Uh, so I also wanted to update it. So currently, uh, Sun, the return on borrowing for Suntech is at 6.2. It increased 0.6%. Uh, percent. So that's why that gave the expression. Okay. So now the next one is uh, Capital uh, DC. Uh, I was being penny wise pound foolish for this particular read when it was the price was like around 170 because right now uh, if you were to do the whole FY uh, results and get the and get the uh, the dividend yield right uh, that was around 5.8 okay uh, of course this dividend is kind of subject this the the returns is kind of subjective right um, but one thing I've uh, taken note is that definitely, definitely uh, the top line growth uh, is only like uh, 2%, two percent as compared to last year and uh, the next thing I also wrote down was the profit margins for each uh, type of asset the co-location, fully fitted and shell uh, it still fits what I understand meaning that for co-location uh, the net profit margins is around uh, 87% fully fitted 0.98 98% shell is uh, it's 94% so that matches what I what I learned of uh, capital DC when I first took a uh, stick in it for the return on borrowing uh, that was where uh, it came down from 15% previously to 13.9% uh, definitely, would it be that the interest rates for the REITs have uh, increased the finance cost? Uh, yes, there would be, uh, but you know, Suntech was able to do something differently. So that was something I was like thinking, figuring out like, hey, uh, what exactly happened between Suntech and Capital? But of course, uh, they are different. Uh, they are different REITs doing different operations. So, uh, the end conclusion after analyzing capital, right, is still answering this question 
do I invest more or do I deploy more capital? I get, I, that is the most practical question, right? Because if not, you do, if not, I do all the analysis, uh, if I don't use the information, I, I think it's just like a white elephant. So that's why for capital, uh, based on this uh, important or keynotes that I wrote down in this card, uh, that's why I gave, I, I gave the expression. <laughs> okay, uh, next one, uh, CICT. Definitely, due to its uh, merger, okay, the, the cash flow for operations is definitely uh, have exceeded beyond one billion. That's something expected, right? Uh, however, I remember the return on borrowing. I, I'm, for ICICT, I'm not that sure, but currently the return on borrowing is 7.8%. Uh, and Something I have a concern of, or perhaps is expected, is when the merger of uh, the the more the more component and office component is bound to bring bring down the net profit margin. If you look at uh, CICT as a whole, so that's uh, kind of like uh, uh, expected. So the key question would be for two o two three. What is my what are my moves? Suntech as of this recording right now, right? Suntech, I even thought of like if you have watched the other previous videos, I, I, I've said that I, I will hold my positions, but now with uh, this improvement, uh, I'm kind of neutral, right? Because uh, my average buying price uh, is still higher than the current market, so that's something that I might want to consider uh, averaging down, okay. Uh, second one is uh, Capital DC, which I think I, for, I almost forgot to say. Uh, since the top line growth is almost uh, hitting a plateau, right? Uh, I believe that is going to be the baseline. Ten cents, ten cents as dividend is really going to just be the baseline, and uh, assuming that they have no uh, other new acquisitions, right? Then the only time to really get a discount is just the stock market giving me an uh, undervalued price. So for, that's for Capital DC. Uh, for CICT, uh, because that is really for my parents, right? Uh, if I base strictly on the principles of value investing and purchase something that they understand, yeah, uh, it will still be uh, CICT. So that's my summary for these three Reads in the portfolio. Uh, if oh, this one uh, biggest takeaway that you got from this video, and if you are a fellow shareholder of either SunTech Capital or CICT, yeah, you're welcome to drop the comments of what you think of their business results in two or two three. And if you feel that this video might add some value to another investor. Please share with them and for yourself. Uh, thank you for watching and stay subscribed. See you in the next one.